hello everyone uh, welcome back to my youtube channel so in our last video we learned how we can uh, hide or unhide rows or columns through vba code similar to that functionality uh, there is one more functionality which is group or ungroup rows and columns and that is going to be our today's topic how we can do it through a vba macro code so it's very simple as you can already see on my screen i have been using the same table so you guys can correlate how the different functions work so we are going to use the same table and uh, and on my right hand screen you can also see the vb editor so uh, the code that i'm going to use is already listed there and if you have seen my last video uh, so Similar to that, we have to define the range first, which we want to group or ungroup, right? After that, entire row would come after the dot, entire row, and after one more dot, we will have group here. So to hide, we have to write hidden is equal to true, but for grouping, we just have to write group. Similarly, for ungrouping, we have to write ungroup, right? This is for rows. When we want to do it for columns, we can use the same code, but yeah, just change this to entire columns, right? So I'll quickly run this code to show you how this is working. I'm pressing F8, F8, right? So as soon as I pressed F8, you can see on the left, left hand side, I now have row five to row 10 grouped right and we will not ungroup for now similarly i'll do this for columns so column i'm selecting b1 and c1 but as you know uh, similar to hidden functionality uh, you can write any number b1 b2 b3 b4 doesn't matter because the column is going to be b only right so i'll again run this right so you can see uh, column b and c are also grouped now this is for grouping but the columns and rows which we have grouped are still visible right so how to make them hidden through the vba code so for that you will have to understand what these levels are known as so these are known as outline show levels right so one is when i'm looking at the first level so anything which is grouped will hide similarly for rows anything which is grouped will hide if i click one two is like i'm looking at the second level so that is where our next code is going to be useful so the show level code works like this you have to first give the sheet number or uh, identify the sheet so active sheet i'm using and then dot outline as i said these are outline show levels so dot outline dot show levels then space and i want to hide it right so the row levels and the column levels should be one because i want one to be pressed through macro right so let's do this how this works right as you can see rows and columns are now grouped and hidden right similarly when i want to look at this at the second level so that both these are visible i can just write two here and as you can see now these things are visible now we will quickly see how ungrouping is happening right so rows are ungrouped now and I'll similarly play this on group macro from columns, right? So the columns are also now ungrouped, right? So you can practice this uh, on your end, uh, try to see how this is going to be useful in your projects. Uh, let me know your questions, or if you think I can cover any other topics in my next videos, please write it in comments and I'll try to make a video on them as soon as possible so please share to share my channel with your friends family members 
and tell them also to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it already please subscribe uh, like and that's it thank you very much